Greetings, Earthlings. <laughs> um, this is blob number seven. Uh, 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 progress since the, I think it was the 8th of August, the so-called 888 Lionsgate portal. Well, I'm making progress. We're making progress. Um, there have been uplifts, let me say, in in the uh, frequencies coming to Gaia, our, our planet. And uh, as I mentioned in my last blog, I think it was my last blog, blob, that uh, I, I met a, a woman um, in South Africa who seems to me is a major soulmate of mine. I, I know people go on about twin flames. Well, uh, I've always been skeptical about twin flames. I think that's a bit of a, a, a romantic uh, imagination, but there, there might be something to it. But anyway, it, it seems like this, this woman is pretty significant. Uh, I'm playing it by ear, just 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 reading into everything which is transpiring, um, our communications and so on. Um, but you know, I I think there's something to this. So anyway, I, I've just done uh, a tune-up with Sue Semino, and I, I will put a link below this video if you're interested in Sue Semino. She's a, a, a very significant person to do with upgrading ourselves, our spirituality, and releasing ourselves from contracts in, in um, all sorts of incarnations um, that uh, we, we have lived through in, in time and space, not just this uh, 3D incarnation where, which we are evolving from but uh, it's going into all sorts of contracts that we've we've made um, whether we've known about them or not you know we've been we've been tricked into all sorts of stuff so I, I'll put a link below this this video so that you can look into Sue Semina. Semina, she is an earth angel, she's an incredible woman. Uh, if, if you like, if it resonates with you, then uh, I suggest registering for her wholeness alignment and beyond which then you will be able to have access to um, others, other of, of her replays, um, which are very empowering. So, I, I watched an, uh, a significant video last night. I don't even know the name of the guy, <laughs> but uh, I will put a link to that video as well. Through my association or renewed association, let me say, with this woman in South Africa, it's become evident how much energy we have been uh, losing, releasing through the way we've been programmed in, in the 3D. And uh, I was wanting to explore astral projection and also Kundalini awakening. A, a friend of mine, uh, David, I can't remember his last name, but anyway, uh, I met him through our mutual friend Wendy who is no longer with us but uh, anyway we were friends in Spain when I was living out there like 17 or 18 years ago. David projected an image to me using sound and that, that uh, taught me a lot about projecting anything we choose through emotions through, through music and uh, a lot of this uh, stuff I mean uh, we've, we've been receiving a lot of negative stuff through um, through music like uh, 
basically altering it from a 400 and f uh, 432 hertz to 440 hertz. 432 hertz um, is in tune with the planet. 440 is more disruptive and, and that was something which was changed, uh, I think it was to do with the Nazis. So to, to actually increase the negative energy on the planet and, and to take away from our divine connection, let me say. So uh, progressing beyond that, uh, I'm thinking about the Kundalini side of things and how we have been enticed into losing our energy through releasing sexual energy rather than using it to strengthen ourselves. So anyway, this video I watched last night, which I will put a link below, talks about preserving our energy rather than losing our energy in a, a couple situation when you are married or, you know, with with a girlfriend or boyfriend the orgasm just loses all that energy and all that impetus to build on the love bond between you so that is uh, destructive so uh, this um, this person I was watching on the video was talking about uh, having he calls it white tantra so you can enjoy sex with a partner but not release all that energy so that that energy builds up inside you and strengthens your love bond with your partner and that is it's like building up the kundalini energy my friend david in spain he had a kundalini awakening and he found that he was writing songs he had uh, an encounter with three extraterrestrials his spiritual awareness and abilities were increased through this kundalini awakening. I, I'm yet to have one myself, um, but that is what I'm wishing to achieve and uh, whether that is linked to uh, astral projection or not, I don't know, but that would be a nice thing to be able to do because my my friend, this, this woman in South Africa, I mean, I mean, Mexico, <laughs> it's another continent, but uh, uh, pro astral projection would enable us to meet without having to jump on an aeroplane. <laughs> anyway, the, the Kundalini awakening is something which will expand spirituality significantly. So anyway, that, that's, that's just uh, my uh, my update on the latest blob um, so I, I will put this uh, online and I, I hope you get some value in this you know the the links with Sue Samino are just amazing um, she will help you to release all sorts of stuff that you've agreed to inadvertently and come into your own power which is what it's all about um we're, we're becoming sovereign individuals as we are ascending to a higher dimension we, you know i've heard it say that it's the fifth dimension ascending from the third to the fifth and it's just going to be uh, quite amazing when we all come back into our own powers um, and are released from this indoctrination that we have been all brought up with throughout our lives in the th third dimension as the powers that were <laughs> are no longer so then we are free of that and then we become free of, of all this need to grab more and more on a service to self nature which we need to be service to others. Okay, well, I, I think you get the drift. <laughs> and uh, I shall catch up with you later. Okay, bye-bye for now.